Being overweight or even severely obese can cause serious health problems, and often bariatric surgery may be an option. We spoke with Dr. Rami Awad at Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs, California, who gives us more on bariatric surgery and the different types of weight loss surgery. Well, we have different types of surgical weight loss procedures. There's the gastric banding procedure, and what that is, it's essentially a reversible procedure. It's a procedure that is minimally invasive. The appeal for that for patients is that there's no cutting, dividing, or rerouting of your intestines. Essentially what it is, it's a gastric band made of silicone that encircles the upper part of the stomach and essentially partitions the stomach into a pouch above the band that has a small gastric capacity that limits the amount of oral intake people can take. Then we have obviously our gold standard procedure, which is a gastric bypass. And uh, the gastric bypass is both a restrictive and a malabsorptive procedure. And a third procedure is a relatively new procedure. It's called the vertical sleeve gastrectomy. This is a purely restrictive procedure in which the stomach is reduced in capacity. You're also taking out an area of the stomach called the fundus where it produces a hormone called ghrelin. And that hormone is essentially a hunger hormone that works on the brain for hunger. So you're actually taking out a hunger hormone. Gastric bypasses are technically difficult surgeries. They're done laparoscopically, and, and as a result of laparoscopy, that really has revolutionized weight loss surgery for the morbidly obese patients. Um, Post-operative pain is minimized. Um, operative stress is minimized. Uh, recoveries is, is quick. Dr. Awad explains who would be a good candidate for surgical weight loss. Essentially, patients with a body mass index of 35 with one or more weight-related comorbidities are considered surgical candidates for weight loss, or uh, individuals who have a body mass index of 40 without weight-related comorbidities. Surgical weight loss really produces profound weight loss with profound effects on their health, and it is durable and sustainable. We have a lot of long-term data showing this. The surgical weight loss procedures offer mechanical restriction and physiologic changes that really facilitate weight loss, and it's not only the individual's self-control and, and self-discipline, they actually have mechanical restriction and physiologic changes that promote this weight loss. But the aftercare is very important. Exercise, dietary changes, and in implementing appropriate nutritional supplementation and good quality diet is very, very important to success. What I tell all my patients is that regardless of what they have done, it's better than not having anything done because even modest weight loss has profound effects on your health. So. Um, essentially, we tailor the individual, uh, the surgery based on the individual's uh, operative risk, their realist expectation, their, um, and their risk tolerance because some patients are concerned about the fact that their stomach is cut and their intestines are rerouted and they want something relatively simple like a band. Other patients want more drastic weight loss and they have medical conditions such as diabetes that really are poorly controlled and they need something more invasive to help with resolution of these medical problems.